we input here project information like client name, project name, etc. and save this information. You can see this list of various connections. These are shear connections, column to beam. Then we have here beam to beam. Then we have base plates, fixed end base plates, hinged end base plates. We have column splices. These are beam splices. These are various types of bracings like single angle, double angle, some channel sections. These are pipe bracings. These are more than one members meeting at a point, some channel bracings, some hollow sections, some eye section bracings. These are special connections like stack splice, stack base, more than one member meeting at a point. These are PEB connections. Let us take one shear connection here. We can design here for the capacity of the section or for a given load. We input the profile details, then the plate details, weld details, bolt details. Drop down boxes are available for various selections for bolts, for member profiles, weld sizes, plate thicknesses, etc and all this information is saved the calculations are performed and the various codal checks are provided all the calculations can be expanded and seen in details over here and the messages appear for the various checks if any check fails then the message appears in red then we can come back to the in input, correct the input and see the calculations again. The checks which are satisfied they appear in green. A red box appears about the input area which is required to be modified if a particular check fails. We can go back to the calculations again, expand the calculations and ensure that all the checks are satisfied. After all the checks are satisfied, the calculations can be saved and the report can be generated. The similar type of calculations also can be saved in a tabular form. Let's see here a base plate connection. This is a hinged base plate with a shear key. The input consists of the profile, the various loads like the direct load and the shear load. The shear key profile is also selected. We can select the anchor bolt sizes the base plate size and the calculations are performed to see if the anchor bolts are ok since the shear key is used anchor bolts are designed only for vertical load the shear key is checked for the shear load the base plate size the thickness are checked here in the detailed calculations all the codal requirements are fulfilled and the calculation can be saved here. After all the codal requirements are fulfilled, the report can be generated and this report can also be saved. Let's see here a double angle bracing connection. This is a bolted bracing. We can select the section profile. The bracing can be designed for either a given load or capacity of the bracing member. After all the input, 
we can expand the calculations and see that all the codal checks are satisfied here all checks are provided including the uh, block share check and as usual the report can be generated and the report can be saved here similar type of connections can be saved in uh, tabular forms which gives the values of the parameters like number of bolts edge distances weld size weld lengths etc and this data is useful for modeling and also for preparation of fabrication drawings